All right, I just hopped into the private chat in Discord, if you can hop in there and then let me know that you can hear me. Tarmac, uh, explain to us your role and then how it's been working out uh, as of today. Yeah, so today was the first day of early voting and I took the first shift as a poll watcher. Um, there were two Republican poll watchers at the location and a Democrat, Democratic poll watcher. Um, so kind of wanted to talk to you guys about some of the things that are being done to make sure that we have free and fair elections. Please go. So, <clears throat> yeah. So real quick, um, we do go around every hour and check the voting machines and get a, and get a tabulation. So we do that each hour and we match that to the number of tab the, the count on the scanners so that we know that there's a one-to-one -one relationship okay. there's a couple reasons why you might be one or one or two off um provisional ballots uh and things like that but um today the counts were absolutely perfect the other thing we do is, is at the end of the night we we take a look at the number of votes um, during early voting, they don't always reset all of the machines. So the person from the evening puts the ending totals uh, in on the votes for the votes. And then the person in the morning checks that to make sure that there was nothing added or deleted. So okay. I think that's a pretty good way. You know, that that's a, that's a pretty good thing. Uh, the other thing is, is we have... Uh, much better access than than apparently we've had in the past. Uh, the only place that we can't go is behind where the voters check in, and the reason for that is is we could see their personal information. But I can go pretty much anywhere I want in the place as long as I don't talk to voters, so I can keep an eye on on different things. Um, uh, so I, I think that. Um, along with the uh, the Republican Party here is all over everything. So um, they're sending out updates and different things if somebody sees something somewhere so we can look out for the same thing. So really good communication. I think we've got a way to secure those votes and make sure that, you know, not, nothing is added. Um, so that's really what I wanted you guys I wanted to let you guys know because we kind of mentioned it before that there was some concern. Yes. Um, and then just real quick, one last kind of funny thing. Sure. Um, the uh, last night, the Democrats took all the Trump signs um, uh, off of the uh, picked them all up and, and took them away. So all there were were Harris signs when we got there in the morning, but that was rectified. Uh, very quickly, but I thought you guys would probably get a kick out of that. Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, unfortunately, there weren't any, uh, you know, uh, a, a strip with nails in it to nail the person's tire, like we saw in that video. The ones I right. But, but pretty much that's it. Unless anybody has any questions, Jeff, I can let you kind of. Yes, Kay, it's illegal, but. What, what can you do if you don't see it? Yeah, no, I'll keep you for a few minutes, uh, if you don't mind. So, guys in the chat, sure. uh, Darmac is working as a poll watcher locally. And so, this is for Georgia. That's where I'm at, for the people who don't know. And so, we just started early voting. People are very concerned uh, about the election system, especially here in Georgia, where we had all these issues. And now, him, I'm assuming this is a pretty standard standardized thing across Georgia that it's supposed to be done this way. Is that correct? Yes. yes, absolutely. It is correct. Okay. So this would not just be for our County, but hopefully for Fulton County, DeKalb County, Cobb yep. County, Gwinnett County, and all of the other big counties that may be a problem potentially. Um, but I, I like that. I see Kay Wheatley says I would put up my own deer camera. That's pretty funny. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. Jeff, it's, it's pretty standard throughout the, the whole area. Um, so we're, we're in good shape. We also, there's also pro, uh, processes and procedures 
I think in our county there's only one uh, drop drop box, and that's in, that's actually inside a building. But there's there's new procedures as to how those are supposed to be taken care of and counted, and we're all watching to make sure that when people, if we work in that location, only drop off one ballot at a time, not more than one. Beautiful. Okay. I mean, that yeah. was the problem. You had the uh, the whole two thousand mules thing where people are just dropping loads and loads of ballots at a time through the night all day every day and i mean that's pretty tough to pretty tough to combat that if they have you know a month to stack ballots across the board yeah one other one other thing that um i kind of forgot about but just thought about right now yeah. is um i actually saw them counting blank paper ballots and i, I was like whoa whoa what's going on here mm-hmm but what they're doing is, is in case there's any issues with power or anything else, they've got a they've got a bunch of paper ballots so that so that if this if if anything goes down, people can use those paper. Now, what they were doing is is they were counting them to make sure that the packets had exactly how many ballots they were supposed to have. And then they were sealing them again um, with with a uh, with a plastic tab that you couldn't open. So right. I'm feeling better about if there's any issues on election day that we're going to be covered here okay. in Georgia. No, that's fantastic. I really appreciate the investigative yeah. journalism because that's what this is. You know, we yeah. we gotta get stuff boots on the ground. I see Grammy, Green Grammy. I tracked my last ballot. It's more Maricopa, Peniel counties that. Um, pulled off our last two cheats because you're talking about AZ. Yeah, AZ is really bad too. Yeah, there's a bunch of places that are worse than other places. I saw the number of mail-in ballots fell off a cliff for Georgia, uh, and I think it's because they know how much tighter it's going to be here as far as security, and Darmac has definitely come through with the, the goods on that. So I feel I feel better about the fairness. Now it's the get-out-the-vote part of it. Absolutely. And the Democrats here are now pushing extremely hard. Uh, in the past, they've not had poll watchers in our county, uh, but they have one at every location now. I think that's good. I have no problem with that. So as long as it's yep. fair across the board, you know, we'll have, we, I, we can have three. You know, you can have the independent, the Democrat, the Republican, yep. and everyone looks at the same thing. And, you know, we're, we're just all in agreement win, lose, or draw, you know, what happened. And that, that needs yeah. to be across the board. It's okay if one side's yeah. pissed, but like you really shouldn't be uh, ready for war because of the circumstances. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And then just a question, um, support our rights. Yes, it's illegal um, to, to steal signs here. Um, again, it, I don't think anybody saw it, but secondly, in this area, it's not 75 feet away. It's 150 feet from the polling area. You, you cannot have any signs. So it's a little further than what you were, what you were describing. Awesome. Yeah, yep. no, that's great. Well, thank you for coming on. Um, and yep. guys in the chat and then in the comments again, let me know if you, uh, if you like the investigative reporting coming through here, cause I might have something else lined up. Uh, if you like that segment, okay. Whitley says a hundred feet in Maryland. Okay. So that varies state by state as well. It seems like cool. All right. Well, I'm going to let you go. Thank you. Thank you. I'm thrilled about this. Uh, and that's, that's a great development. I knew I heard in the tea party meetings that I was in with so, that some of the legislators were working on tightening things up and some things were just about to pass, but I, I didn't have details and they didn't want to talk details. So I'm very glad we were able to get our very own in the, in the system to, to let us know what's going on here. It sounds very tight. It's tighter than any booty at uh, the Diddy party for sure. Uh, the election system in Georgia now.